Nifty Project Management Tutorial for Beginners. Hello guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you a project management tutorial of niftypm.com and how it can help you to track all of your projects into one place. So let's get into it. So Nifty Project Management or niftypm.com is a really good platform which has all, which is basically the ultimate project management operating system and you, you can go on and stop switching between roadmaps tasks docs chats and other tools nifty is one app to unite teams goals and actions in one place so you can click on you can basically go on your url bar search for niftypm.com and you're going to access this site and you can see that it has basically twenty thousand highly productive teams and you can set goals and timelines with nifty you can see the engineerings you can see uh, you can have your the users testimonials as well and it's easy to be efficient it have native integration workflow automation and custom embeds so this is a really great tool to use for your project management so how to get started is very easy just click on this option or just sign up with google it's completely up to you i'm going to continue with signing up with google and it is the free the nifty is available as a free version as well and you don't have to require any kind of credit card to get signed in with that so i'm just going to continue with google right now and then i'll show you guys the main dashboard of nifty okay so you have to first of all add in your workspace name and your workspace ui I'm just going to continue by adding any name uh, right now like for example I'm just going to add in this as test workspace or something like that like test at that's it and the workspace URL is going to be test.nifty.pm so I'm just going to continue with next okay so this URL has been taken so I have to change it to test 0012 let's see if it's available okay so i'm just going to they are basically creating my workspace i'm going to wait a couple of seconds and I'll, then i'll show you guys the next step you can choose any mode that you want this is how your nifty is going to be up here there is this classic mode there is this light mode and then there is this dark mode i'm going to go with the classic mode because i think uh, either one of these is uh, as good as the other so i'm just going to continue with the classic i'm going to click on next now moving from another tool if you are moving from another tool or if you're already using some kind of project management tool for your needs so you can can go on and import your data from spreadsheet asana base camp click up trello etc i'm just going to skip this project because i'm not doing that right now then you have your addresses you have your team email addresses you can copy your members from this as well so i'm just going to ignore this as well i'm going to go to the app directly okay so first of all there is an option to enter the project name so this is going to be the first project that we are going to put into test 001 to that the workspace that we have just created so this is going to be a sample project Project, just for the sake of this video so the second thing is the project privacy is it going to be public to general or the private project and the default task is going to be kanban list calendar swim lane timeline so i'm just going to select timeline for this and the next thing is basically a blank project do you want to create a blank project do you want to create a blank project and do you want to fulfill all of the details by yourself or later or you want to get one of the nifty templates or you have any safe templates then you can go to this one but i don't have any safe templates so i'm going just going into on to nifty templates right here and i'm going to see all of the templates that i have before i create my project so this is going to be okay so client collaboration template is this design template development template legal template marketing template product and sales so depending upon your need or the thing or the project that you are creating is related to which uh, department you can get the template out of there so i'm just going to get a template for getting things done so this is a project management and the first thing that comes into project ma main management is getting things done so i'm just going on to explore the getting things done template so this is a personal to do's getting things done daily task tracker and freelancer monthly task i'm going to go with the daily task tracker right here and i'm going to click on preview okay so i have just selected this template right now and the on offset date is march 12 2023 and i'm going to create a project out of this okay so do you need a calendar yes do you need a discussion yes do you need documents yes do you need files yes okay i need obviously i need all of these things do you need forms okay yes i need those depending on the need maybe i'll need those maybe i'll not but it's uh, good to have to go with these one i'm just going to go on create project okay so here you have your dashboard created now you can see that there are a couple of things that you can see you have your overview you have your workload 
uploads calendar all tasks in my work so right now i'm on projects so if you want to switch to chat you can go on and do that as well and you can chat with your team members about all the things that are going anyway and how you can basically make everything better okay so here you can see that for monday i have task two task three task four so you can just click on each one of these and you can edit the tasks by that i'm just going to go on and open that and here you can see at task two so what i can do is i can add the task description i can task a title then i can add the task description and then i can assign the task to different people i can add tags about the task the next milestone like next month or something and then i can have the dates of march 5 march 5 12 like it, the task, task is going to be started at march 5 2023 at 12 a.m and it is due at march 2023 at 12 a.m so you can go on and change on both of these because obviously uh let's say i'm going to do this and i'm going to set the start date and the due date I can, i'm going to set as 12 i'm going to select and you can see that the next month start date 11 april or march 12. okay so yes extend it and you can extend the dates like this and you can set the dates like this so if you want to have any custom fields uh in here you can go on like drop down you have your number you have a url font email or location if you want to, if it's a physical task you can also add the location to that task as well and um, i'm just going on to you can create a new task you can add a new custom field as well so i'm just going to go on and remove that so this is a task too this is how you can basically go on and you can add task in all of these as well if you want to add a task just click on this option add a task and it is going to be added in the tuesday you can add a task name a task description due date assignees etc and just click on add task and then you can edit it as well by the thing that i'll just show you so it is grouped by status you can group it by assignees by due date by milestones and by tags so this is just a sample project that i have just created these are the tasks so the dashboard is going to be here you can add the members into dashboard the roadmap is going to be here it is going to represent all of the tasks that i have in this month the next month etc and how the, these tasks are going if all the tasks have been met that I have assigned for this month then it will show a hundred percent result for this month then you have i have my calendar then i have the discussions in the calendar all the tasks are going to be listed and unscheduled tasks are going to be like this then i have the discussions discussions are the things that are going to be like if the, your employees discuss something or you want to discuss something with them you can just post a message right here and everyone can answer who is being admitted into this work space and then you have your documented files your forms here now if you want to invite members to the project just click on this option and you can invite them by email and add a name and give a link and get a link to share with them and they can directly join this workspace or you can invite the guests to this project by adding in the email and click on this invite or you can invite the workspace member so there are two kind of things that you can uh, two kind of people that you can add the guests are gonna be invited into work into the workspace but they won't be able to edit anything in the workspace but the members will be able to access all the files all the documents all the sensitive information that you have recruited inside your workspace and they will be able to get the full access to the workspace so depending upon your own uh, like if you want to just show uh, some kind of progress to any client you can invite them as a guest but if you want to have a member invited you can go invite them as a member two things that you can do then you have your workspace add-on your security alerts your general settings and membership and permission the members and permissions okay so these are the pricing plans of nifty p pm.com so here you can see that there is a free plan available that you can use and it will have unlimited team members it will have a storage space of 100 mb and active projects will be two so when if you want something more than that you can go for the starter plan which is for 39 dollars per month and it is it will have 10 members and it will have 100 gbs of storage space and it will have 40 projects uh, that can be active at one time and guests and clients will be unlimited uh, on the free version you won't you won't be able to get any guests or clients so you can use if this is not enough for you you can go for the pro version which is for 79 dollars per month with 20 members 500 gb and active projects are also unlimited with unlimited guests and clients a business plan is for dollar dollar 124 and 50 members can be you know into the team and one tv is the storage space with unlimited active projects and unlimited guests and clients and then you can also try for free the 399 dollars plan which is the unlimited and here you are going to get all of the things unlimited you can have unlimited team members unlimited storage space active projects can also be more than you know anything that you want and guests and clients are also unlimited so 
if you want to have a deeper look on what you're going to get in each of these these plans you can just go on and see all of their core features their advanced features their account and security features their support etc so you can just go on and check the and accept the plan that you want and you can pay for it or you can just start for free if you're just a beginner so this was it for today's video guys i hope you found it helpful please give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to software is made easy thank you